and welcome to my basement. Uh, the reason we're in my basement right now is because this is where my latest project is being developed. Uh, the project that I'm developing is called The Mirage, and it is a water version of the wire map. Uh, it is uh, a 3D volumetric renderer that uses a projector and shoots that pro the light coming from the projector into a bunch of streams of water and builds 3D objects in that water. Um, the reason it's in my basement uh, is because it involves a lot of water. Uh, this is the kiddie pool that I'm using to hold all the water. Uh, it is a little more than half full and that is the structure that houses the water before it falls. Uh, there is a hose coming out over here and the hose is hooked up, uh, you guessed it, to a pump. Um, this structure uh, is six inches tall, three feet by two feet, uh, and then in each corner there is a two inch diameter tube that is sort of socketed into a uh, one inch, one and three eighth inch diameter tube. Now this tube goes all the way down to uh, the bottom of the pool um, into a base. And the reason I made the base is because I didn't want to puncture the pool. Uh, it was a ten dollar pool that I found at Target. Um, and over here we got some shims to keep the uh, the entire structure a little more level. At one point it was it was crooked, sort of to this side, so I had to add shims over on this side to re-level it. Um, so let me show you how it looks while I get the power turned on to the pump. What happens is, well, water comes up and over. and slowly fills up the top. Now this plate that's two feet by three feet has a bunch of holes that were laser cut into it. Uh, I use laser cutting because it was available at Canal Plastics, which is where I found all this plexiglass, and because it was sort of accurate and I could have, uh, I could build, instead of building a model in my computer, printing it out, and then using my drill or using an analog approach to cutting it in. I just went digital. Uh, it cost not too much and it was actually pretty good. Um, more about it later though. Uh, what I noticed though when this was happening was that the water hit the thing and as soon as it hits the plexiglass it sort of skids off which has this undesired effect of water not coming through certain holes. For example, if the water uh, just skids right off the top of the hole, it just won't go through at all. Or over here, the water skids off the top and it slowly makes its approach back and sort of like dribbles down to the side. Uh, this is all totally undesired in the wire map effect because what I need is a bunch of lines that go exactly straight down from those holes. Uh, the reason that this has to do with the calibration of the wire map and how it renders 3D objects. So if these holes aren't cut straight, then I won't be able to make any 3D objects. I'll just be able to project pretty light into, into water, which would be pretty, but kind of useless. So um, what I did to sort of cut down on the turbulence was instead of having the water hit this sheet of plexiglass, and skid off of it, I had that water hit another sheet of plexiglass that I suspended one inch on top of it. Um, and so that it could skid off and do whatever sort of turbulent things that it needs to do on top, so that when it goes down into the lower half chamber, uh, the water will be still enough to go straight through. Uh, and that's this piece of plexiglass right here. Um, it is an almost 2x3, uh, it's a little shorter on the edges because it has to fit inside that piece, not under it, obviously. Uh, I drilled a, just a sort of a, a bunch of holes that are all equally two, all two inches spaced apart. Um, and I put that in and I had it running. And what I found out was that the biggest problem, um, 
with the holes sort of uh, making the water go in all different directions, uh, wasn't entirely um, based on the fact that there was turbulence in this chamber. Uh, there were also other issues, and I found that to be the case, especially up front. Um, so this hole that was laser cut, so you can see from down here, let's see if it'll focus. That's too clear. There you go. This laser cut hole right here. Maybe put my finger there. There you go. This laser cut hole right here uh, is at an angle. It's sort of angled to the right. Um, just a tad bit. And the, what was happening was that all the water was sort of slowly dribbling out, or was dribbling out a little bit to the right up here, and then in the back of the structure, back there, all the water was dribbling out a little bit to the left. Um, the overall effect uh, is that it ruined the 3D, and 3D is totally unrenderable in these circumstances. Uh, so, uh, the reason for this is because it was all laser cut. Now the guy at the, at the plastic store where I got a laser cut, he warned me, he told me that, um, that laser cutting for this material, for material as large as 3 8 inch, uh, is not going to be straight. The holes aren't going to be straight. Uh, now I, I did a test run with a, a small piece, it was 2 inches by 3 inches, with like eight holes cut into it, and those seemed uniformly crooked. So I thought that these holes would be uniformly crooked, all the same, like you know, one angle west or whatever. Um, but it turns out that some of the holes are, you know, a couple degrees to the left and a couple degrees to the right, which is um, uh, it's not like that cancels each other out. You know, it breaks the whole system. So. Uh, what I'm going to have to do, what I tried to do was I looked around, uh, tried to find my way into a drill press, and I don't really know anyone in New York who owns a drill press. Uh, I know someone in a shop, or I know someone who has connections to a shop, but their insurance policy won't cover me. Uh, so I decided, you know, I'd, instead of going for a drill press and waiting around, hoping for dumb luck that someone would have a drill press, uh, I would buy this thing that I found uh, on the internet, and I, I went to Sears actually to pick it up. It's called a drill guide. Now, let's see here. Hold on. Now, what it does, it attaches to a drill gun, and with it, you know, these are the guides. It'll drill straight holes, and it gives you a little reading along here. Uh, for what sort of angle you're going to be building. You can build up to a 45 degree angle, I believe, with this drill guide. Uh, kind of cool, a little bit over the top, but considering the luck I've had with these holes, I think this will be sufficient uh, in creating holes that are straight enough to uh, to spout water mm, at a 90 degree angle from the uh, from the sheet of plexiglass. So I expect to get all the drilling done um, and all the cutting and and remounting. I mean I have to take the bottom plate of that off and then glue a new plate onto the structure of the walls uh, and then glue the legs onto the plate too so this is going to be a little obnoxious but uh, I expect to get most of this done um, pretty soon and I will uh, definitely keep uh, keep updating I will definitely update my blog um, and YouTube as soon as I uh, get any results that are favorable or favorable knock on some wood uh, of course I might run into more frustrating results and I will post those too uh, Thank you for tuning in. It's always a pleasure to share my, uh, my work. I don't really know how to end these videos, to be quite honest. Um, so, uh, from, from, uh, from underneath Albert's house, this is goodbye.